Hey guys, Mike of Mike Likes with another episode for you. And I know it's not a telescope, it's not astronomy, but the weather in Ohio in December and January doesn't really cooperate, so it affords you a lot of time to do other projects. And you're probably wondering, why is Mike showing me this old Macintosh from the 80s? And you would be right to think that, except that there's a little something a little bit different about this Macintosh, and I'll show you right now. You see my keyboard? I'm going to wake it. And what's in there? It's my iPad mini. It's a sixth generation iPad mini. Um, let me just unlock it here for you. And in every way that matters, this is an iPad mini. It's got a mouse pointer, which is me driving the mouse. It's got a usable copy of Safari. I can go home. It's got you know, the Photos app. I mean, it's really cool. This is a Macintosh Plus. Apple made a gazillion of these in the 80s, and you can find them on eBay for a song. I found this case for $35. It's nicely cleaned up. It's not super yellowed. It's it's definitely not as beige as it was new, but it's uh, it wasn't expensive to buy the case. And then I went to a local uh, firm over here that cuts acrylic plastic. If you look closely, there's an acrylic plastic frame, and maybe you can see it better underneath here, but it's just glossy black plastic, and with an epilogue laser, which is like a, um, a cutter that just makes an exact cut, they went ahead and they made a frame for me. And what I'll do is I'll show you guys what it looks like on the inside. I gutted the Macintosh. I removed the CRT. I removed the main logic board. I removed the disk drive. I have all of that sitting, but you can definitely see there's no disk drive in there. You can see straight through to the back. Uh, there's no port for the keyboard. It doesn't need it. The only port that I'm using, and you can lift this with one hand because it weighs like almost nothing. The only port that I'm using is what was formerly a speaker port, and that's just my USB-C port. And yeah, if you look around at the back, I mean, this is a Macintosh Plus one megabyte made in the US. The case is made in Illinois, which is unre un unreal because Macs, modern Macintosh computers are all made in China, but these were made stateside. And I think the copyright date on this was somewhere in the 80s. So let me take this apart so you guys can see a little closer what we're dealing with here. So I've gone ahead and I've opened up the uh, casing here and you can see the acrylic frame that, I'm, that I've um, had fabricated and it just uses uh, standard metric screws to go right into where the CRT was anchored. So there's four points there where it hangs in and the back of the iPad, I mean, it does have the camera available to it, but it's just facing back into the, into the chassis of the Macintosh. The interesting thing about these old Macs is that if you look very carefully, uh, you'll see signatures in here. And I don't know if you can see it, but Steve Jobs' signature is right there. Um, yeah, so Steve Jobs believed that great artists signed their work. So with the original Macintosh, which was 1984, the entire case, this entire inside housing was covered in the signatures of the team. And this is a later Macintosh. It's a Macintosh Plus, which came around several years later. So, you know, as they changed the casing and the tooling, a lot of signatures disappeared because they had to put components there. But, you know, there's a few of them. There's a few in there. And you can see, uh, you know, Steve Jobs, I can make out that one right there in the middle uh, of that of that uh, centerpiece there. And yeah, it's kind of a neat little Mac trivia bit. Uh, funniest thing to me, like I said, is this was all made in the US in a, in a really immaculate factory that Steve rolled out. It was not an economical way to uh, to make these Macs. Um, the, the retail cost of this was over $2,500 back then, which is probably $5,000 now with inflation, who knows, but really expensive way to get a Mac compared to what they cost now. But yeah, I've given this Mac new life. I went ahead and I got this frame made of acrylic. It's just a couple of layers of acrylic holding it in you can see the the sheets if you will right in through here and um i wouldn't say this is the most portable thing because you do have to unscrew it so it's not like a dock where i can take the ipad in and out as i go but what a cool clever way to uh take an old bit of technology and make it new again and you can see the ipad it's it's completely powered up it has no problem because it's just kind of sitting there and you know if you want to go for the full mac effect you can get this free flurry uh screensaver so it looks just like a Mac would, and uh, I thought that's really cool. And to put it to sleep, it's just a command control Q. It puts it to sleep, then you wake it up, and it's ready to go. And um, yeah, because it's an iPad, you can uh, have this thing unplugged for multiple hours. It's just subject to that. So 
I hope you guys liked the video. This is a really cool project you can do pretty quickly. The hardest thing about it is just gutting the uh, the original um, components inside the Mac, but it doesn't take very long. You know, I left the frame so it had a little bit of weight to balance it because the iPad is so light that if you don't leave like some of the metal frame, the rigidity of it, it can fall back or to the side. This makes it so that the actual housing of the Mac is maybe three or four pounds and an extra you know, half a pound, pound for the iPad and the frame, and you're off to the races. So I hope you guys have liked me demoing this little um, project that I did for you. You can see my telescope in the background there. Uh, when it's cloudy in Ohio, this is where the mind wanders and you do fun stuff like this. And for not very much money, you can have a shop cut these uh, acrylic pieces for probably under 40 bucks. It just depends on what they charge per, for their time and their... Uh, their 3D layout design and cutting it, but very quickly done. All right, so hope you like the video. Um, if you can throw a like, even subscribe to the channel, that's awesome. I love making this kind of content for you guys and have a great day.